So today I want to do something a little different and talk a little bit about this distortion pedal, the Tech 21 Sans Amp. Hey mom, keep it down. Try to rock it in the basement of the crowd. Classic? Well, no, the classic is the reissue of this pedal. This is an original. I think it's just called the Tech 21 Sans Amp. It's the first one they ever made. Not this particular unit. It's not the first one they ever made, but this is the first model that they ever made. And I guess it's the basis for most of their stuff. You may know about this pedal from Nirvana's In Utero Tour, but actually what drove me toward a purchase of this pedal was um, interviews with a producer named T. Shad Blake, who uses this pedal extensively on, I guess he claims on almost everything he mixes. Um, he also he likes, there's also a plugin that comes with Pro Tools, I believe, that is just stock. So you can use that to kind of like dirty things up. And I think that kind of goes back to what Jay was talking about in the Why Do Four Tracks Sound Good video. A little bit of distortion on things can really make things sound exciting. But that's where I originally also heard about this was through the production of the album Brothers by the Black Keys. I believe they sent the tracks out to t Shat Blake and you know, just told him, do your thing on it. Um, he used this extensively on the mixes to give things a little bit of distortion, give things a little bit of an edge. Maybe not this the pedal, but maybe the plug-in or the rack unit. I was originally intimidated by this pedal because of all the switches on it. There's like this little area um, that has all these different uh, toggle switches. And usually stuff like this, like three more than three knobs and then all these switches usually makes my head explode, but I decided to give it a shot. And I actually got this on Guitar Center used uh, many years ago. And I gotta say, they usually have some good deals on stuff. That's where I do some gear hunting sometimes. But I guess the main reason I wanted to talk about this was because because someone was asking me about what distortion I used or what um, how I was getting some of the sounds I was getting. And this is used on my song Little Wiser, which I'll link put a link in the description. And what I really like about this pedal is because I usually live in apartments or areas where there's people around and can't always blast the amp at night or whenever inspiration strikes. So what's really cool about this pedal is obviously the name of it Sans Amp you know, you can record without an amp, sans amp. And I don't know, for some reason it just, I think it's just kind of a little magical with the four track. It's almost like it's meant to be used with it. And after playing so many different distortions and overdrives and fuzz boxes, something about this just works for me. I'm at the end of my tone quest in terms of distortion and overdrive. I mean, that's not to say I wouldn't keep trying ones out, but the main sound I use these days and I have used for a, a few years now is this pedal. And it's very, very cool pedal. There's something really cool about being able to just plug into one of these and, and go at it. And it's, I think it's all analog too. I believe it's all analog. Very useful for bass, vocals, guitars, live guitars. Sounds really good with a tube amp. Sounds really good by itself. So check out that song. You can hear it in action. Um, if you have any other questions about it or about distortion pedals in general or whatever, hit me up. I've tried out a lot of different ones. So, but you know, it's, it's completely subjective. You know, this is what I enjoy. This is my jam. And what's really cool is it has a switch that you can do lead normal bass and it emulates a couple different Mesa Boogie, Fender, Marshall style amps. But I've only ever really, the bass switch sounds awesome on guitar. I don't know why. That's that's the one I used on that song and that I've used on that this uh, an entire album. Pretty much every time I do distortion from 2015 on in a recording was this pedal. So giving away my secrets here, but you should check it out. And again, this is the original one and not the classic. I've never used the classic. I don't know. You know, it's a reproduction model. It could sound cool. I don't know. I'm going to do a video at some point showing how to tap this into an effects loop on the four track or tap this into the effect to send and see what we can do because it really sounds cool it sounds great on vocals don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel you nerd godspeed my friend if you're looking for a new distortion box check out the tech 21 sans amp what distortion boxes do you like to use with your four track leave a comment below let us know or head on over to the forum 424recording.com slash forum we'll catch you on the flippity floppity peace